This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius. Do 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 Aquarius. This is scary what's coming out now. I don't know what this is. You government say. sanction warfare against entire people. What's this? That's the guy. That's the guy. That's the guy who just uh, uh, totally ignored us. And but me. a book that helps to under, us understand what will happen in the last days that will transform uh, this a is country the guy like the United now. States of America from a country of freedom, liberty, Dr. and the pursuit Eric of happiness. How can America go from that the to a country where people could actually be tortured? Who believes that the world is 6,000 Where people could actually be mistreated, mishandled, not because they did anything wrong, but simply because of who they are. Dr. Mindbender. Or even worse. So who do you think we? Who do you think I was? <sighs> I th I think he was hired because he's a yes man. No, no, he's a yes man. He he just rubber stamps things. He doesn't. He's never there. Um, he's never he's never answered a single letter, a single phone call, a single email. Never been in on his office, and uh, he just rubber stamps it. They just he goes here's a rubber stamp, and the guy's somewhere else in Riverside, and they said, hey, we need some trash. We got to dump it. Highly toxic. Remove the protection of your front door, and the devil has to no. She's really skinny. Here, the way back here, you want to move the way up here. It's temporal. You've got to reach people intellectually. That's why Jesus so many times stopped people and what they were doing. I can't believe this guy's website. I need a copy of this entire so, website thing where he's got the brainwashing. Please join with me. Welcome. Now, how can the city council with a straight face let, how can the city council maintain a straight face while this guy's talking? And he's the head of the health department. And they're like, they're all maintaining a straight face. Hey. It's not a crime uh, to be fake uh, or look fake. I know that it sounds funny, but these are very hard working people. Mm, the city first. I need, I need, really I need, I need, I need things that are in the California penal the code people. that say also want to bad effing thing to do. Uh, I want to say that the city council has actually helped. If you do that, uh, then you get this. Really and then, you know, it democracy. tells you what you get. And then, um, you know, bad. Watching how they work together like, to make these it's not good to poison people. It's really not good to fucking, like, cover up this thing and then use it as an ongoing, you know, enterprise, I criminal like enterprise. Well for all the hard work that said, we're going to uh, get into our talk. And um, I was given this topic, prescription for a healthy city. But I like the topic. Because I want to take us somewhere with this. And uh, I'm going to start off in the book of Luke, the 19th chapter. No worries, it's not certain. Um, well, I agree. It needs but, to grow up. You know, and no and the thing is, is right. like, God, I was just peace. Um, I, I, had, I, you know, I had strokes and stuff. I mean, I couldn't even use part person. of my body, you know? And I'm Some sitting the there typing with a little pencil. Shit, when I couldn't reach the damn things because it was too far away because I didn't want to puke on the screen or on the keyboard. Uh, anyway, so, there, you know, hey, 
Uh, at that, there's 79 million. Because he looks at the city and he realizes what it's called upon you know, a city like Pasadena most cities in world history. Too, so the city is no different except that it is a holy city. By three of the major religions in the world. He looks down at the city and he recognizes that these have left the city. It's occupied at this time by the Roman Empire and Rome eventually will collapse. Because the city of Pasadena is at this time by the Roman Empire and Rome eventually is going to fight uh, the uprisings that continue to happen. Uh, in Jerusalem, and as he looks at the city, he beats. And there are only two times in the Bible that Jesus is recorded to have wept. This is one of them. The other time, of course, is outside of the tomb of Lazarus. He can't stand the pain, and as he, in his prophetic eye, looks down through history and sees all of the suffering that would come to earth. And what makes for a healthy city? But there are a lot of things that we do when we so we, we Forbes produces a list of healthy cities and they use some of these things to predict it. And Washington, D.C. has won two years in a row and in 2010. Washington, D.C. dropped down to number two. And Minneapolis, Minnesota jumped up to number one as a picture here. And some of the things that they say make for a healthy city are open spaces, walking and biking trails, the health of individuals, quality health care services, access to fresh fruits and vegetables. All our low smoking rates are very important. Um, low rates of certain diseases. All of these things are factored in and they come up with these lists and they say these are the healthiest cities. You see the point of what? And of course all of these things are critically important and in fact I love this city because the city has most of these things in place. But it's interesting because even though DC wins yeah. two years in a row and comes up second in the third year when you look at a train map of the city of, of Washington, of Washington D.C., and some of you have seen me show this before, if you start down here in the in the southeast corner of the city, you have one of the poorest, most violent neighborhoods in all of the United States of America. Most prosperous neighborhoods in America as you travel out to Maryland. For every mile you travel, in fact, the average suburbanite Near a Shady Grove station will live 20 years longer than the typical city dweller around Capitol Heights. And they won the healthiest city two years in a row. You see, because when we gauge health, sometimes we focus on things that seem to make a lot of sense, but being truly healthy is so much deeper than what your hemoglobin A1C is. There's a lot more to do with the average blood pressure of a city. But what I really want to bring to you is the next dimension in health. Where do you go to get beyond simply the, the, the rigors of numbers? And at the University of Miami in medical school, they taught me that you don't treat numbers, you treat patients. People run up to me all the time. It's only, only one of the bad things about people knowing I'm a doctor in the city is I literally will be out to eat somewhere and someone will sit next to me and say, you know, my cholesterol was checked and it's 300. <laughs> So what else might make a healthy city? Are those are arguments with transportation systems. Mm -hmm. It's the skyline. Economic growth or affluent neighborhoods that such a city is a healthy city. But we know it's from cities like Los Angeles and New York and Chicago that you can have all of those things and still have sections of town that are devoid of health and of prosperity. In fact, if you look around the world, but we know from cities like Los Angeles and New York and Chicago that you can have all of those things and still have sections of town that are devoid of health and of prosperity. In fact, if you look around the world, cities like Mexico City and Santiago and Chile York and Chicago that you can have all of those things and still have sections of town that are devoid of health. I think and a prosperity. Means in fact, if you look around the world, cities like Mexico City and Santiago and Chile are I cities that have now. I gotta look it. It. You can have all of those things and still have sections of town <laughs> that are devoid well, the of health I don't know. Fuck. and a prosperity. I I in fact, if you look around the world, cities like Mexico City and Santiago and Chile are, are cities that have uh, these incredible uh, who's who in the city. With that. These incredible yeah. uh, splits yeah. in who? These incredible yeah. uh, uh, splits. Yeah. 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 I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Look, they got used to it. I slowed it down. You said fucking weird shit. Music. My God.
I, you know, you know. I think I have it figured out. They have to say that the world. I knew a guy like that. The spin doctor religion. But I knew another. I knew a guy like that who said that the end, that the world was exactly ten thousand years old, coming up on like you know December second or something like that. I, I met him at uh, Brand, the Brand place. One of the security guards there. And I was like, wow, 10,000 years, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, oh, okay, so, you know, what are we basing this on? Well, they have books that go back from day one. And they wrote it all down. It was always written. It's 8 o'clock. I guess when, when mankind became self-aware, is when you could say that that's how old they were. Now I think mankind is about, I don't know, two or three, four days old. Because, you know, still, there's not a lot of people that are that aware. So that's just my thing. But anyway, people who say that, this, that they have 6,000 years, you know, or whatever, that's when it was, they all believe in the same thing. You know what that is? The end of the world! <laughs> and you know what? All, all those guys believe in the same thing, too. Another thing they believe in. When the world ends, they're going to be the chosen. And they're going to be the, the all-powerful chosen ones. Yeah. So they're dancing up and down to bring out the end of the world. Now, what's going to bring out the end of the world? The best thing I could think of is 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 dump a bunch of fucking oil and shit, piss the earth off really bad. So you know the earth fights back and fucks everything up all at once. That's one of the things I could think of. Get people to stop loving the earth. That's another one. You know, shit like that. I'm thinking Earth is going to win, too. Earth is, yeah. Earth has got my, Earth has got my vote. I like Earth. But, you know, it's kind of like that. These guys, and, and you listen to their theorem, what this guy is actually pushing. Um, it's, it's, it's frightening. Because here you have a metropolitan city they say there's 170 or 50,000 people. Every time you hear it, there's going to be less and less people that live there. And the reason is, is because if more people live there, then it'd be like, oh, wow, you know, we better pay attention to this because, shit, there's a lot of people living there getting fucked up, right? No, they want to keep those numbers down, and they do. That's why, that's why this city has got one of the best rates of, of a disease, cancer, tumor, you name it, in the nation. It is. It's like one of the, you know, nothing ever happens here. But <laughs> there's more brain tumor specialists in, in the city of Pasadena than there are anywhere. I mean, it's just insane. I could be wrong about that, but it just seems like, you know, if... I got all the cancer people for tumors that specialized in brain tumors and put them all together. I would need some place like, yeah, the, the, the Coliseum or something to put them in. It's more, than a, it's more than a high school football game. If each one of them was just, you know, one of the guys that was at one of their deals. You know what I mean? Some of these places have 20, 30 people working for them, doctors. Yeah. 
No, it's big business. It's big business. Big, 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 big business. That's why everyone is like inbred. We're inbred. We've been taught since the 50s and before. You know, if you do that, you're going to get cancer and die. Ah. And then they showed all these people and they gave them radiation. Of course they died. Of course it was horrible. My God, they fried the people's fucking nerve cells and, 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 and just totally destroyed their tissues in their bodies, you know, and, and this is, this is the cure, they're still doing it, they're, they're, they're going in, and now the best, the best thing they can do is use bugs into your body, you take them as a pill, or you can get them injected, but mostly it's a pill, and they're just, they're cysts, and they just sit there, and then what they go after, they've been genetically modified, so they go after a specific area of your body's defense system to shut it down. They attack it. And the way they attack it is they just gang fuck it. You know, and just go and knock out your body's defenses. Good fucking luck if you got a fucking something flies by that would have normally not bugged you. Because you're fuck out, man. Because it knocks everything out. All those things do. They tell you they tell you right there. You look out on the internet what it's called? They call them, it's called retrovirus. That, When that girl got her hair cut, did she like it? Did you get her before and after picture? Yeah. Put a sign on your door. You will. Sure, you should only do some people so everybody else feels left out and fucking ugly. That's what I would do. Make me feel ugly and left out. Sin. Only, only pretty people get their pictures taken on the internet. And the rest of you ugly bastards, you can go fuck yourselves. And leave a, and if you don't leave me a huge tip, I'm going to make your ear hurt in the shower. I'm going to post your ugly face on, on, my, on my world's most ugliest pictures. But see, that's, that's kind of funny because no one's ugly. I've never met an ugly person. I've met a bad attitude. I've met I met some bad attitudes that I didn't want to be anywhere around. For any reason, I've met those a few times. All right, what do I do? see a lot of those out there. Hello? Yeah, you won't see a lot of that out there. Yeah, I want to clean up in here so I can find my boot.
Well, what I wanted to do was put all that, you know, in each box and then put all the boxes in, a, in, in one box and then have that box in, like, one of those little envelope things so you could just, like, slide it around, whatever, put it in the drawer or something. I heard you the first time when you said that. I can do them here. I could do it here, and then all we need to do is dry them, or wash them with the uh, thing, because we need uh, Clorox. Where? You, you need that at the shop. You have to have that, and you have to have the, the baking soda, and you have to have citrus. You have to have acid base. Well, that's the car. That's the car needs one too. You need. You need. Uh, um, see if you have. If you have citric on you, and you have baking soda, citric acid, and. Uh, um, Basically, those two things are nice, you know, they're pretty good. And some detergent, um, hot detergent. You got, you got everything covered right there, and you can neutralize pretty much anything. Yeah, Clorox, uh, it's great for all kinds of shit. I gotta write a thing up about it, because a lot of people are getting the impression that Clorox is bad. Clorox is great. Clorox, Clor Clorox sucks eggs if you just use it by itself, you know, and I'm going to just tell them why Clorox is bad to use by itself, but Clorox by itself on a large area or on dishes or whatever the fuck, it's great. It's fucking excellent, man. It's good. But, you know, you got to rinse it off. There's things you just got to do because of the activity of it and what it does. But Clorox is good. You just gotta know how to use it. You always chase it. Yeah, if it's gonna hang out, you gotta chase it. I'm looking at this rock and I'm thinking if I like lift this, that big white rock, you know? You know how you can get a really good grip on it? I was thinking if I put my nuts on the table right there and just like slowly rotated it, that would like be good. <laughs> and then I thought, no, I think not. But the fact, not permanently. I want to. I'm cleaning up in here. I want to get this niceified. And you know it is. I'm better. Jeez. Yeah, me too. Oh no, kid. That's because that's that's because they've been busy on the internet. <laughs> He's oh god, you have the nicest. Yeah, it's. I want that shovel. I want to pack this stuff away so I can, like, pack it away. But I don't have to. I want to finish this. I got some stuff to do. Uh, I just, for the record, I fucking hate, I hate this shit. I hate this shit. I want, I want to be doing anything. Almost anything you do. I don't know. I don't watch. I want to go back to being stupid, acting stupid, and fucking mopping floors and shit. And just going, oh yeah, oh god. No, really, I had a lot of fun, you know, doing stuff. I want to do anything, you know. I'm, I can't wish that, but I, I, I want to, yeah, I want a high-powered uh, 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 consulting jobs all 
for all kinds of companies that just pay me a fucking year, a stipend their year, broken into monthly payments, of course. Things like that, you know, and lots of other, you know, where I save people money and they give me percentage when I save them. Stuff like that. Yeah, I, I just need like 30 million bucks a month. Get that book and hire all those people and just like start foundations. Yeah, I need thirty million a month. Yeah, that's there's no questions, no questions about that. That's just how that. Yeah, but anyway. Uh, aside from that, um, I miss the dehumidifier. I just, just want you to know, as soon as... Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we did. You put the, you put the, the, the same the finger on it, like you gave the, the chicken. I mean, you put the steak guy on it. You put, you know, he put it in the pot. It's um, uh, you know, like you, you did. You steak guy did. Well, I want to dehumidifier. I want to really. I know which kind I'm studying. Yeah, well, I want to dry it to a crisp. Dry it to a crisp. Yeah, just think about it. Think about it. Just think. I got that last one for ten bucks. Yeah, that was like uh, probably let's see, ten cents a pound. No, uh, that was a dollar a pound. No, it was ten cents a pound. Ten cents a pound. The thing weighed about a hundred pounds. Ten bucks. Good deal, man. Buy some machinery for ten cents a pound, I'm down. <sighs> you didn't think of it like that, huh? <laughs> it's like that though, you know. <laughs> it's exactly like that. <laughs> it really is. So yeah, so yeah. I gotta clean up bunch of stuff because it's like it's been better today was like so much better than the last few days can't tell you how much but oh my god I'm healing right through it I'm bending my DNA strands and I'm relearning the fucking hey this is bullshit so you know and then and the way you do it is you just gotta walk through it because your body will adapt even though you think you're going to die and feel like it and then hope you are and then fuck, you get really bummed out because you didn't die yet and then you go through all that shit and then you go, fuck and then all of a sudden if you boost your, uh, your immune system with the other stuff at key points by, by using music you know <laughs> some kind of uh, trance music you know really loud and uh, and jumping around and eating garlic um, yeah it works and carrot juice and stuff and drinking lots of Uh, the brainwash tape. I need just that. I cannot believe that these guys, because they're going to remove everything. But I, they're going to remove everything. But I, the, the fact that these guys are like fucking scientists and lawyers and all that stuff, and they're listening, we got mumbo jumbo going on. Dude. Yeah, I, I wanted the, the, the um, 
the health, uh, uh, I wanted health, uh, um, I wrote it at the magazine. I wanted health provisions, not Harry Potter. Not that I, you know, not that I, I'm bagging on Harry Potter. Everyone likes a good yarn. And not only that, you know, and everyone likes, you know, the, the mumbo jumbo. Everyone does. Sure. Right. But the real magic, but the real magic would get this fat ass off of his fucking duff and get some uh, stuff happening here. He's got poisonous fucking properties that are still to this day laying fallow out in the open, allowed to be taken over by this fucking parasitic, uh, it's, it's a combination of uh, bacteria and fungal, it's fungal back, um, fungibac. You know, it's 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 uh, the two one nine four scandal scandal back. It's mm -hmm. the you know it's something cool. I get to name it because I'm not sure what I named because I discovered it. And and what it does is it takes over the existing systems of all the other fucking mantis of the fungus because you know they're they're territorial. These guys will fuck each other up because they don't want anyone else eating their shit. Sometimes they get along and exist right next to each other, but not really because when you see them, that's a colony of pureness, just like Japan, you know? Uh, <laughs> you know, they're like, ain't no one coming here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. What? I heard, I heard my nipples are hard. Is, is what's going on here? Hello? I don't know. God. Anyway, it's been nice talking to you. I haven't talked to you for a long time. All right, maybe someday we'll get together and uh, have some laughs about all this. So anyway, uh, just give uh, everybody and everything my love and uh, uh, tell everything and everybody I wish everything and everybody well and all the good stuff. All right. Yeah. I shall. Shall, as always, strength and honor. Okay, Semper Fi. Peace. Uh, yeah. Uh, we need to fix this. How do I get out of here? And how do I stop this? Do, 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 stop.